Hello, what's going on everyone? Today we are going to learn about callback function in JavaScript. So I have my code editor opened here, which is Visual Studio Code. And what I have is just a boilerplate of HTML. So I also have my browser, I mean this document on my browser opened and what I have done is you, just, you can just drag and drop this index of HTML and open click right on your mouse and click inspect element to see console okay let's add script tag here and I'm just gonna put it here callback.js so I do not have this file yet so I'm just gonna make the file named callback.js so before diving into callback functions I'm just gonna show you console.log apple console.log banana so I'm really sure that all of you knows what this will show here we got apple and banana but what if I have a set up set timeout function here and then I will set this to 1000 which means 1000 milliseconds which equals to one second and I'm just gonna log here strawberry another fruits name if I refresh we will not see strawberry on the top of the list that is because JavaScript traditionally executes code synchronously so it will not wait this set time out function to finish then execute uh, this console.log apple and then console.log banana but instead it will execute uh, all all lines here and then execute set time out function because it is set to 1000 milliseconds it means this function will be executed after one second so this is the that is the reason why we are seeing strawberry at the top I mean at the bottom of the list I'm just gonna delete all of this and just gonna create cons player okay right no I'm just gonna insert players name and club first one is Ronaldo second one will be Messi and the third one will be Lewandowski who plays for Bayern Mini? Okay, and then I will create a function which will log these players, and I'm just gonna name it show players. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pass any parameters here but I will put set timeout function after 1000 milliseconds and then put players for each
with arrow function and then I will log players dot name so basically this function will log players name here Ronaldo Messi and Lewandowski but I want another function which enable which allows me to add a player so here I will set I will play set time out function and set it to 2000 milliseconds and then call players dot push so I'm passing this one player which means I have to p pass it here too as a parameter okay then I will call this add player function I'm just gonna add Kevin De Bruyne and his club is Manchester City all right but I want to add player then also show a list of players here so I am going to call oops I'm going to call show players here but I have to add callback here and put here a callback function so it will add a player then log list of players here if I execute so here we see Ronaldo, Messi and Lewandowski and then it will give me Kevin De Bruyne at the top I mean at the bottom of the list so this is an example of callback function but you know if you have other functions here for, um, and then for example you, you want to add player and then before showing all players you want to yeah call other functions and then you will put callback and so on it will result it will result in callback hell uh, which is simply interpreted as call, nested callback functions and you don't want the callback hell to happen on your code so there is a thing called promise which will be shown in the next tutorial so stay tuned thank you for watching hope to see you on the next video thank you